<laughs> hey guys, it's Katie, and we are back for another recipe translation challenge for Jasmine. We have taken a recipe, put it through Google Translate. We've gone from English to French to Tagalog to Ukrainian to Swahili and many, many, many more, all the way back to English to give us a hilariously translated recipe. Other YouTubers have done stuff similar to this, Brandon Ferris, Melinda. We were inspired what with Jimmy Fallon does with music lyrics on his show. They're all great. Please check them out. I think it's time to give Jasmine the new recipe and let her know how much harder I've made it this time, per your guys' request. <laughs> It's your fault. We read the comments. It's gonna be fun. Before I give you this, there are some changes we've made today. I am gonna try my best not to laugh. Everyone has requested it. Look what you've done. You've taken the joy out of her producing this. We put more stuff out and you will get no hints from Kelly and I, except for one each. Can I trade yours and have two of Kelly? My hints are great. All right, are you ready for the recipe? Coco's dream. What? Oh, also Jasmine is not allowed to read ahead of the recipe, so if you guys write, read ahead, I've strictly told her not to. I'm not allowed to break the rules, guys. You wanted it hard, this is hard. All right, Jasmine, are you ready? I guess so. Let's make Coco's dream. Insert twinkle sound effect. Step one, place 14 tablespoons of... <laughs> Step one, you're not allowed to do I'm that. Really you already broke the rule. <laughs> you're gonna get flamed by the audience. <laughs> Step one. Place 14 tablespoons oil and three quarter cups tablespoon yogurt in a large bowl. With your finger, press and hold the key until it stops. Beat each other using a mix. <laughs> Where to begin? Oh, it's really hard because I can't read forward. There is yogurt. Butter, there's butter. There's butter. Three quarter cups of yogurt. I think I'm going to combine butter and yogurt in a bowl, press the on button and mix it until it's well blended. I think it's butter. All right. But then what's six? A third plus a half. This better be the only math step. It says 14 tablespoons of oil. There's no way it's that simple. Okay, I'm gonna do 14 tablespoons of butter. I think we're making something sweet, but I could be very much wrong. Coco's dream sounds so sweet. I'm just gonna do three quarter cup of yogurt. Do you feel like you've made the right decision so far? No. With your finger, press and hold the key until it stops. It's like Ikea directions. I'm gonna mix this. I'm just gonna do it until it's well combined. I hope I got that right. Step number two, add the three cup bread, one cup sugar and two teaspoons bread and smooth. What? Add three cup bread. I found breadcrumbs. I can't say that I think this is correct. I have found bread. Sugar, sugar. I think bread is flour. Three cups flour, one cup sugar. I'm gonna start with sugar because I know that, well, I don't know, but it's the most straightforward. All right, one cup sugar. I'm so stressed. So I have decided to do three cups of flour. So the tea, two teaspoons bread is, is kind of confused. What is this? What's that? Two teaspoons of baking powder. I wish I had a live audience to clap for me. Yeah. I don't know if I'm baking this. So now we do and smooth. I'm having a good time, but this is hard. Okay, now I'm kind of confused. The last two words were two and smooth, but this is definitely pretty dry. It looks like this usually when I'm baking, if it gets to this and there's like some sort of solid dough, I can start kneading. So I'm going to start kneading until the dough is smooth. Maybe there was no yogurt needed. I'm wondering what cuisine this is. That's like my favorite part. While I'm kneading this, can I read the next step? Put in a plastic oven to cool for 10 minutes. That's a juxtaposition right there. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and cool for 10 minutes in the fridge. I love that this time you guys are gonna comment saying, make it easier for Jasmine. I think this is good. Let's just wrap this up. Let's chill it for 10 minutes. Next step, place the pan with two letters delivery in a 350 degree oven. What? Place the pan with two letters delivery. Baking sheet? Two letters delivery? Let me just look around a little bit. Two, two, two baking sheets? I decided to do two baking sheets with parchment paper, which is our letters. I'm gonna go preheat the oven to 350. Next step, divide flour into 15 coins using a knife or a trowel. What the hell is a trowel? Trowel. 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 Oh, look at that, it's labeled! Trowel! What? 
Oh, I can use a knife. I kind of want to use this. I'm going to use this because why not? Divide flour into 15 coins. I assume round. How is it used in the trowel? It's not bad, actually. Not sure how even it is, but I think it's okay. All right, 15. I will roll them into balls. What do you imagine Coco's dream looks like? Coco's dream. Naturally, I'm thinking Coco is very chocolatey. Dream, what's synonymous with dream? Clouds, Coco cloud, chocolate clouds. Chocolate, chocolate puffs, <laughs> puff, chocolate puffs. I don't think I got it. Next step, circle each piece into a small square, about eight inches by four inches make a right angle. Well, I assume I'm rolling it out to be eight by four with right angles. Eight by four. One, two, three, four, four, double that, eight, eight. There are rollers there. It doesn't say how thin though. So is eight by four inches a square? Or a circle? Well, a circle is not a square. An eight by four is a rectangle. Circle is roll, roll each piece into a small square, rectangle, a thin, thin rectangle. Place the cherry earthquake on the long side of the long side. Round the flower around the cherries in a bowl with herbs. Cherry earthquake. There's strawberries here, blueberries, and sour cherry. Sour could be translated to earthquake. How so? Tell me, take me on that road. Sour, bitter, bitter, strong, bomb, explosion, earthquake. I like it. I got it. Round the flower around the cherries in a bowl with herbs. What herbs? I'm gonna go with sour cherries. Here, I'm gonna drain them. I think I am going to line the cherries on the long side. Is it just like one line, you know? And how how much? You know what? I'm gonna use a hint. Oh! Ooh. Who do you want your hint from? Kelly. So round is what shape? Oh, oh, oh. I think I am rolling it over the cherries and there's a log of cherries on the long side of the long side. All right, I do feel a lot better. That looks decent in a bowl with herbs. I have thyme, I have mint, sage. Oh, was I supposed to put it inside? I'm gonna do it again with the other one, but with the cherries, I'm also gonna line some mint inside and then roll it up. I have my cherry mint log. Just gonna do this 13 more times. BRB. <laughs> Finally rolled all these out. Next step, add the prepared pasta. Roll out the remaining dough and cover with a spoon. What? So I think I am going to roll out the remaining dough. What's the prepared pasta? There's no remaining dough. Why would pasta be in this dish? I think I gotta use a hint. Katie? You want a hint from moi? I mean, you said I couldn't get all two right. from Kelly. Sometimes in recipes, it tells you how to do all of it in one step, then the next step is telling you to repeat it. <laughs> was that a bad hint? <laughs> Damn it, my hint was that I already did it? Ugh. Step nine, if the egg is dry, beat the beaten egg and cook for two minutes until golden brown. Egg wash and cook for two minutes. Egg wash, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's beat that. All right, two minutes is not that long. I'm hoping the next step will be like, cook it longer. How did you even find this recipe? Suggested by you guys. Y'all are good. Next step, remove the wooden cookies to bake from the oven for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna ignore the numbers and I'll take them out when they're golden brown. Make frosty make. Put the cream and two cups of cane in a large bowl. Wash with a handkerchief until black. Make frosty make, make frosty make, make fro frosting, make frosting. Cane, sugar, cane, sugar, cream. Put what cream? There's so much cream. Sour cream, cream cheese and heavy whipping cream. I'm going with cream cheese. I'm choosing this because if you let me think about it for any longer, I'm gonna put them all. <laughs> two cups of cane in a large bowl. I think it's sugar. I'm just trying to think of the flavors. Like if it's super wrong, yeah, whatever. If it's good, yeah. You seem more at peace today. I am just getting back into the groove of failure. How do you feel about failing? Katie, I'm Asian. I think you know perfectly well how I feel about failure. Unacceptable. Oh, I don't even know if this is right. I didn't read the next step. Wash with a handkerchief until black. This feels like strawberry king king. <laughs> Do I make it black? I'm just gonna mix it first. I feel like there's there's no way it wouldn't want me to mix it together. I have a feeling I was wrong. 
Can I redo my step? Can I do a little? Fine, you have to do it so fast though. Resume. I am doing heavy whipping cream instead of cream cheese. Wash with a handkerchief until black. Maybe, maybe it's mix with a mixer until thick. Okay, also I can't let go of the fact that it says wash with the handkerchief until black and then there's food coloring here. And I feel like I should just add some in case and if it's wrong, it's okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Don't know how I feel about that. I think this is done. I'm gonna go check on the roll-ups. I think it's been about, I don't have a watch. I've taken these out of the oven and let them cool. It's time to move on to the next step. I have no idea how I'm doing right now. Put five pieces under the pan. Wash well with a brush. Hmm? Five under a pan, five under, below, pot, plate, five, four. From this step, it's telling me that we are in assembly mode. I assume this will be the base since it's only five and we have 15 of them. I am just putting five pieces on top. Let's move on to the next step. Oh, wash well with the brush. What would I wash with? Wait, there's frosting here. Frosting sounds pretty good. Oh, oh, my frosting maybe. I guess I'll do frosting. Here goes. I'm freaking out. I'm gonna keep it under control. Add four more at the top and place in the middle of everything below. Eat a thin layer of sugar. So what I'm gonna do, maybe this, this way, opposite way. Mom, don't watch this episode. Eat a thin layer of sugar. Maybe just another layer of frosting, powdered sugar. I'll just do more of this. Repeat with other cookies to create a pyramidal image. I'm thinking like this. Oh wait, no. If I repeat, it's not gonna be a pyramid though. Oh, I, I understand. I shouldn't have switched directions. So I added three this time and I have three left. This black frosting is so ugly. I think it's wrong, but I kinda, it kinda looks like a campfire. Step 15, spread the rest of the frost on the outside. Refrigerate the remaining ice cubes for two to four. Okay, I guess I spread the remaining frosting on the outside. It's all good, it's all good? No. I appreciate the hype though. I'm actually really horrified. <laughs> refrigerate the remaining ice cubes for two to four. Frosting, refriger refrigerate the frosting. This, fridge this. I, I wanna say this is the ice cube. I don't even know if we're gonna use those again. So I'm gonna do this. Let's do 24 hours. I'm not staying here 24 hours, Jess. <laughs> Let's just put it in the fridge to chill. All right, I have chilled this baby for about 20 minutes. And now we are on our last step. Sprinkle crushed chocolate on the scalp before serving. Crushed chocolate, scalp, head, top. Sprinkle crushed chocolate out here. Could be powdered sugar. Well, there's some chocolate over here. I think it's probably gonna be this. Maybe I can do chocolate shavings on top? Uh, I think I'm gonna do chocolate shavings. Scalp, chocolate shavings, kind of like dandruff. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, if Coco's dream is chocolate, we gotta give Coco a lot of cocoa. Ta-da! What do you think? I'm so confused, but I'm done. <laughs> it's time to see the real one and find out what this is called for real. Are you ready to see it? I'm a little nervous. I feel like this one might be the biggest miss yet, but whatever happens, I will be proud. Close your eyes. It's coming in hot. Eyes. Open your eyes. It's coming in hot. That Open I your eyes, it's not hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Do you want to know the name? Kushma Louis Guguta, which translates to Guguta's hat. The name comes from a Moldovan folktale about a boy shepherd who fits an entire village under his large traditional hat to shield from the brutal winter weather. Oh, that's so cute. Well, I messed up a lot. Why don't we give yours a cut? Cheers. The mint is really bad. Cheers. That's a lot better than mine. Where did I go wrong? Are there herbs in there? No. Mint? <laughs> no, no herbs? I feel pretty good. I think I was closer than I thought in terms of the visuals, but the taste, yeah, the mint really changed it. And I love that there's a story behind this dish. Maybe next time is your turn, Katie. No, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> This was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see your recipe feature next time, make sure to DM Katie at Old Lady Katie. We'll see you guys next time. You did great. You did really well. No longer Coco's dream. Coco's nightmare. <laughs>